Hi there, Nigel Saunders here of KW Bonsai. Almost a year ago, we planted these tiny seeds of the giant rainforest trees, the carpokes or kapok trees, and here they are today, growing tall and mighty. You can see how quickly they've grown. The trunk size is almost the size of my pinky after one year. The lowest set of leaves are just starting to die off now. So today we want to reduce the height of the trees. You'll notice that some of the seedlings have grown really tall and giant with thick trunks. Other ones are quite small still. So we're going to take advantage of that growth pattern. We're going to keep our thicker, taller trunks higher and we're going to prune our smaller ones down lower. I've looked at the weather reports for the next week or so and it looks like there's lots of sunny days coming up. So I think it'd be a good time to cut down the trees. They're creating quite a shadow in the plant room so I've got to get them smaller. So here we go. I'm going to start with this tree. I'm going to prune it as low as I can. You can see the remains of the first two leaves down here. So I'm going to prune it off just above those. I'm going to try growing these as cuttings. Uh, from what I've read, they are supposed to root very easily. So I'm going to try some in water and others will stick in soil and pots. The next tree is this slim one here. We're going to cut it a little higher, leaving two leaves on it. We've got our, our big thick one here that I'm going to prune quite tall. So I'm going to take it off uh, I think right up to here. Just taking the top off it. I have another small one here. I'm going to prune off to here. Trying to vary the heights. That way if we ever create a forest of Kapok trees, we'll have a lot of different variations in height. This is a fairly thick one, so I'm going to prune it off high. So maybe to here. And we've got a medium one here. I'll take it off to here. And another thick one back here. We'll take it to here. And one here. We'll take it off here. And I think, oh, there's a small one back here. We'll take it very short, right to here. So there's our first pot done. If I lift up the pot, you can see the roots growing underneath it. There they are growing all out of the drainage holes. So we'll be repotting these trees probably into individual pots in spring. So here we go on our second pot of trees and again I'm going to base it on the thickness of the tree so the slender trunks will get pruned down shorter and the big tall woody ones will get pruned quite high. Take this little one right down to the first leaf. At some of the leaf junctions, there is a little bud already forming that maybe would have formed a branch, but it will now. Put that one off there. I'll take this one down to here. few more. This one to here. There. There. 
there we go. There's pot number two done. This is a uh, little tree seedling that grew in this pot. Um, I think it's a locust tree. So I've left it in there. I don't know if it'll make it through the winter, but we'll see. There's our carp oak seedlings pruned down in height. It's kind of exciting doing the first work on them to get them underway as bonsai trees. Uh, hopefully this next year we'll start to get some bark on the, the trunks. And we might also get the little uh, thorns that come on the trunks also. So that'll be exciting uh, waiting for those. I did the same operation to my acacia trees 11 days ago cutting the tops off from a you know a great big tree so let's go in and see how they're doing here's our little trees 11 days later the ones that were pruned off just to bare trunks with no leaves are doing well they have new sprouts coming out all over the place where the old leaves were we're gonna get new branches the trees that we pruned down and kept some leaves you can see the two old leaves here are doing well also they have new branches sprouting at the base of all the leaves. Even some of the thicker ones that we cut back are just starting to sprout uh, branches now on them. There's another one over here that's just starting to get a bit of green coming where the old leaf was. So all the trees survived are cutting back and are doing well so far. After we pruned the tops off the casea trees, I planted three of them as cuttings to try them out. Only one looks like it's doing okay, and that was a kind of a medium section of the tree. You can see the tops being cut off, and I think this was the top over here. And it has some green leaves on it. This one was planted as uh, just a woody, woody cutting with no leaves. It's not doing anything. And the one, the tree top, or the tip, uh, it doesn't look good but it's not dead so we'll see what happens with those the acacia cuttings that I put in water look to be uh, pretty well a complete disaster uh, there's some trees that are still a little green but they're basically drying up and dying all the leaves are falling off so I don't think we're gonna have any success rooting them in water. I'm going to plant these cuttings in water. This is just rainwater. It looks dark because it was from our rain barrel outside, which has a lot of fall leaves that uh, mix in with the water and discolors it like that, but it is pure rainwater. So to plant these cuttings, I want to remove the lower leaves. I just want to clip off the lower leaves so they're not touching the water. like that and we'll stick it in the rainwater and we'll just keep it in a bright position so I'll, I'll see how these root and if they start growing little root hairs we'll probably transfer them so they each have their individual bottle or glass to grow in so it doesn't get too crowded with the roots in here I'm hoping they grow not because I need more kapok trees but people in the bonsai club would probably want to grow a kapok tree also in one of the previous videos on our carp oak or kapok trees, uh, we started a temple in which to grow our kapok trees over, a root over temple. And it's uh, going to be a miniature replica of the Tapam Temple in Cambodia. And just to let you know, that project will be underway again this winter. Uh, I kind of got too busy with work and my trees and just didn't get any free time to work on the temple. So... That project, in the middle of winter, there's not a whole lot to do in Canada here, other than go skiing and tobogganing. So we'll be working on our temple once again this winter, and we'll be continuing to do updates on the trees and the temple. That's all the work we'll be doing on our rainforest trees today, our giant kapox. So Nigel Saunders of KW Bonsai, thanks for watching. And do something green today. Instead of driving somewhere, Take a nice walk. You'd be surprised at all the interesting people you meet, the beautiful trees you can look at, and it's not about getting there on time. It's about taking an adventure, a nice long adventure, and a nice walk. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.